family fee, so let's get into this tea. Y'all make sure y'all tap in to um, Louie. All right, that's what we're going to call her, Louie. Because I don't know what the X, they say the X, I, 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 13. Y'all don't judge me. Judge your mama. Listen, he did a podcast with Marsh. The link going to be in the description. He told me to react to it, so that's what I'm about to do. Now, leave me alone, Chrissy. I'm sick of it. Sick. I can't even do a shout out in peace. Louis the 13th. All right. Louis the 13th. Shout out to him. Yeah, if he. The link gonna be in the description. Y'all make sure y'all tap in the cut. Y'all yeah, ain't. All right. But I am gonna be reacting to it from Honey with the T. Shout out to her. She broke this down. I have not broken down the video yet, y'all. Between the Danny beef, y'all probably don't even know about it. Danny and Corey. I got a whole nother channel. Y'all don't even know what's going on. Y'all don't even know what's going on. Okay. Girl, I'm trying to catch up, but listen, let's get it. My role, like, and I've been around. Like, the thing about it is, like, I have a history with my friend's family. Like, like, we're family. Like, that's the thing. <laughs> that's the thing that y'all don't understand. Like, I had a history. Like, we done really thugged it together. Like, me and my friend's family, me and Krishan's family, we done it's thugged just it together. It's not for the public. Like, you kind of get what I mean. So it's yeah. kind of like this perspective that people have it's kind of like you get i just it's a lot of them so i meet them one at a time everybody got their own feeling about me because do you find it hilarious friend, honestly, sometime because you're like oh my gosh yeah like, people really like are speculating i'm getting yeah but it's like it's quality. like the thing about it is just like um i'm not gonna lie in my in krishan's life like she put us right here like yeah. you kind of get what i mean like mm -hmm. and i'm talking like above people like you kind of not, not like in a weird way but it's just the truth like mm -hmm. i don't know how to answer these questions without lying or like being like indirect Shit. or whatever like just being honest like it's just like yourself. it's like um like she put us in a certain space in her in our in her life for real you kind of get what i mean so it's kind of like sound like to me she's saying over her sisters and i would too <laughs> The way they treat her, yeah. Kind of like I don't. Sometimes you guys, they don't like that. Like you kind of get what I mean. Like I'm uh -huh. just be honest. So, um, when I first met um, uh, Latifah, because I didn't know her artist name or whatever. When I first met her, she was cool. Honestly, like I didn't have. I never. I still don't have a problem with her. I never had a problem with her. Um, the problem wasn't my problem. It was just rock and right or wrong. You kind of get what I mean. So it's kind of like I never really had a problem with her ever. Um, when I met her, we was going bowling. Like we was doing the regular shebang that we usually do when we all out with Blue Krishan, da da da, like. The regular lifestyle stuff um i never you are you guys would, cool now or bigger. yeah you can. um i don't know her oh. that's the thing i only had one exchange one mm -hmm. exchange with her like on a personal level to kind of get to know her and it was like it was decent it wasn't like we was just all being bubbly fun like it wasn't like she was gonna on a little bit but that's regular <laughs> that's kind of normal you kind of get what i mean so i was just like okay whatever type shit. you know i was uh, scared for you when you fought her why she was a big ass girl. Well, I'm small, huh? Yeah, you got. Well, y'all look small. He was in uniform. Talking about why? Did you see your face, Marsh, or was it just us? That was she talking about, Marsh girl. We were scared for you. Why? Uh, I was scared for you more with uh, uh, blue. Okay, you out there like I ain't giving up the baby. I would have gave that nigga his baby. <laughs> I am not about to get my ass beat for you, Krishan. Um, and I know y'all going to feel some type of way about that, and that's fine. But I told y'all then, I am not about to catch a charge or be unalived for this fool right here. Okay? So anyway. Oh, no. That, but that's the thing. We always dress like, I don't know. It's like we really do. Me and Jason. That was my favorite part. Like, we always dress <laughs> no, like. No, because, you know, we, we, we already, you know, performers since we yeah, little. Yeah, like, it's so my friend. And that's what we up, do. Bitch, and it's not even like, like we perform in together. Style, and it's bitch. like, we, we just, that's part. So it really wasn't about that. Like, just being honest. It's just it's like, really okay, so boom. Though. Like, I just have to say. Some, an exchange had happened or whatever. Um, and it's just like my friend felt a certain type of way. Like, he, she felt. When I was talking to her, she, it didn't give the usual energy. Like, it gave, Aww. like, something was really wrong. And since she's pregnant and a lot of different things. So I'm like, what? So I'm saying back tonight when I said we was at this club. So we're already there, um, me and Janet. Um, so we go to the Sprinter or whatever. So it, the whole exchange is happening again. Latifah's standing on, like, this chair in the Sprinter or whatever. Um, and she, like, um, saying something, something, something. So I'm just, like, sure to get down. Like, she, like, what? I'm, like, get down. So then we just start squabbling. Um, jumping, that was just a storyline. That was not a truthful thing. Now, Jay did hit her, but that was when I was far away from her. At that if it wasn't a truthful thing, then why the hell do what? Hold on. 
Why does Taseki keep saying her sister got her jumped if it was just a storyline and she never got her jumped? What are we talking about? This whole time we thinking she all in her feelings because Krishan sick y'all on her. Time. So we squabbled. Yeah, that's the truth. Um, the only thing that she did in that squabble was push me. It was like she got attacked. So it's not like I snuck her. I didn't sneak her at all. I said, get down. She probably not from Cali, so she don't under, probably understand the language, but she catch my, she caught my drift eventually. <laughs> and then so we're just squabbling. Like, you kind of get what I mean? So <laughs> she probably got one little good hit in, and she pushed me, and then there was people behind me. So then I backed up against the um, – against the wall in the sprinter. But mind you, this fight, there was no security. There was nothing. It was like a personal thing. Like, you kind of get what I mean? I was irritated at that mm -hmm. time. So, because what was irritated, delayed to yeah. me. So I'm just like, what? What's going on for real? Um, so that's what it was about. All the details, that's not really super important. Yeah. But it just had a lot to do with just like certain like snake stuff. It wasn't my problem. So I can't speak on the situation because it was something that was just told to me about something that was going on to with a feeling. I don't know if it was all truth, it was more attitude, more more than less, but I didn't care because it was coming from my friend. And that's pregnant. crazy that you say that because the way that you stood on it on 10 toes yeah. showed how so real that you the thing are about and how it, much like, you love your friends that and part. that is real. Yeah. So then mm -hmm. when we fight in a sprinter or whatever, um, it was just, it was a squabble. I, there was nothing wrong with me. It was like a regular day. Like I, I've been fighting all my <laughs> life. So. I will say Marsh is a real one. I don't care what nobody say. If I'm literally the police come get me, boom, got me in a cuff. Nigga, we done walked off from my child. Krishan like these. Yeah. Looking at Junior like these. Like, bro, I got to walk off, look at him go. I think that that's crazy. I think Krishan should foul uh, charges for that. I don't know who she said go with or what, but it don't seem like it was with nobody because everybody was all in confusion. You know what I'm saying? That right there, we would have to, we would have to, yeah, we would have to figure something out right there. But um, for you to come get them, nah, I would be indebted to her forever. There was nothing wrong. So they, the, <laughs> the security literally had to come into the sprinter and get us. I didn't have a mark on my body. Like, you kind of mm -hmm. get what I mean? And that's a fact. Mm -hmm. So it's like, um, <laughs> if you pay attention, Tzatziki is a defensive fighter. She's not an attack fighter. So it's like, she doesn't, She it just caught her off guard, to be honest. But I didn't sneak her. Like, she, I, we were eye to eye when I threw my first punch on her. Mm -hmm. So that was just that. Okay, so then who was there? It's, I think it's Lemmy's sister or whatever. She, she was kind of close to her what happened. She was the one that called the security to come to the sprinter in the first place. You kind of get what I mean? So, but you can watch when you pull us off the sprinter, um, there's a light-skinned security guard. Um, I kick my foot, so he tried to, like, kind of attack me, come t come tough at me. But mind you, I said we're a nuisance. We're really annoying. So I don't really think he he's too fond of us. I don't know if he likes us or not, mm -hmm. but I'll say he's not too fond of us. Then there's a security guard named Ant. He's a big, dark-skinned dude. Um, he grabbed me like, yo, back up. Like, I got her. She good, whatever, whatever. So then the fight dispersed or whatever. And then... Um, I'm sleep chilling, whatever that happens or whatever, whatever. But then, um, before the next day, when everything becomes like a big thing, when the network is asking us all these different things, I was asleep when that happened. But after, directly after the fight, it's like, um, let's see, there was there was GoPros in that sprinter. So Latifa, she grabbed the GoPro. I didn't know it was GoPros in that sprinter because I didn't ride on that sprinter. But this mm -hmm. was supposed to be a a private thing. It didn't need to be. You kind of get what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, it wasn't really it about was TV for me. It was just about you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Because if that was the case, it would it could have happened on stage. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Whatever. You it guys didn't were happen going somewhere. Yeah. We like went the to the fuck? performance. This happened after the performance. All yeah. of that. Grab the GoPros off. Like it's footage of this online. Like she grabbed the GoPro. She threw them to her homegirl named Tay Tay in the crowd or whatever. So she threw them to her homegirl or whatever. So that footage, I don't know what she did with it. It's never to be seen. But if if that's the true story, why would you throw it away mm -hmm. to somebody like? You kind of get what I mean? And then my phone got lost in that sprinter, too, because it was sitting on the table. So when it was, like, all these narratives being thrown around at that time, like, it just wasn't true. You kind of get what I mean? Like, I just didn't have a phone, and I need to get a phone, and I'm out of town. Y'all know how I go with your iCloud, all that type of stuff. So it was just challenging. Okay. I'm in a whole other state. I don't got no proof of address, nothing. Like, it was just hard to get a phone, to be honest. So it just took me a couple of days to get a phone. So at this point, they just going rampant crazy online, saying all these different things, or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, so then the day of the actual fight, so the next day I'm asleep. The network calls us like, oh, yeah, we want to try to fight online. But I'm like, okay, cool. That's not a big deal to me. Um, so that you knew? 
No, it's just like I already squabbled this girl, so I'm not intimidated mm-hmm. at all. Yeah, you yeah. get what I mean? So it's like it's just gonna be another squabble to me. Mm-hmm. But that's crazy. You kept the G. I'm not gonna lie. No, you kept the no, G. No, but it's not they even got, that. It's not even that. Like they y'all got a G just to, to fight. Yeah, yeah like, no, you're but it's not even that. Camera just to fight. So basically. But so the thing about it is, but just everybody like, waiting no, for but, that episode, no, but, though. That part, no. But this is the thing, though. This is the thing. So my first fight was a, with the girl on TV. Was at the one of the auditions. I think the Baddies East auditions. Mm-hmm. Okay. It was with Cuzzo. It's a it's an artist. But I didn't have no problem with her either. It was just like I'm right and right and wrong. Like you kind of go. I mean? It was just in a certain exchange that took place that should have just made her know that it was like not sweet like that. You kind of get what I mean. So she ended up on stage. Um, and I'm not trying to throw her under the bus, nothing like that. Like, this ain't even that, because I never even posted the embarrassment that it could have caused her, because I'm not like that. I really don't care. For mm-hmm. real. So it's like, I hit her, she fell on the ground. Then I got on top of her, boom, 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 hit her. Then we had another fight after that, because she's like, no, nah, she snuck me, she snuck me. So I'm like, oh, we can go again. But the network didn't really let you fight. I see that more so on now that's TV, to be honest, like mm-hmm. real squabbles. So I'm riding in the, in the Sprinter the day that we supposed to have the actual fight when we were in the outfits and stuff like that. I'm riding in the Sprinter with, um, it's me, Jay, Krishan. Um, who else? Uh, and Daryl and uh, Lemmy. Those are people that's like the CEOs, the people that I don't know that be making a place for the business or mm-hmm. whatever. So what they tell me, like, it's not, it's going to be like the other, da, da, da. like what they said, basically, like I have a trust factor for them to an extent. Like you kind of going to be because they, they, they be dishing out bread for us. So it's like, I don't know. I'm pretty from, I'm really from the hood. No, I ain't really had nobody take care of me or do nothing for me like that since my baby daddy. So it's like, they be looking mm-hmm. out for real. So it's like, I just have like a comfort zone with them. So what they said, I don't know if it was intentional, but what it, what that did, it just let my guard down. You yeah. kind of get what I mean? No. So it's kind of like, I didn't, I didn't go into the situation thinking like, oh, I'm really mm-hmm. finna have like a street fight on TV. I already had a street fight and I was perfectly fine. Facts. Um, Janet did hit her, but we never jumped her. Like, in that sprinter, she was never jumped, bro. Like, she hit her. That's a fact. But that was when our fight was broken up. She was not near me. Mm -hmm. And I was not near her. It was not like we both took off on this girl. That is storyline stuff. Mm -hmm. But that's... So, okay. I definitely don't feel like they jumped her. Because I feel like Tesseki jumped them. Let's talk about that. Okay? Because... They didn't get too many hits off that woman. I want to say this. Krishan was dead ass wrong for having Tesseki have the the idea of I'm gonna fight your battles for you, and then turned it on Tesseki to have Marsh and Jay fight the battles for her because Tesseki wouldn't fight Wo Vicky and Anna. Now I will say Anna, all that all them gums Anna be bumping today. Anna was not bumping them gums with Krishan or Tesseki, rightfully so. Krishan would whoop her ass. Tesseki would have whooped her ass. So, but Tesseki would have dog walked Anna. And I just feel like Tesseki felt like it's just no need for this. She was literally saying, like, these are little girls. Like, I don't have. What is Tesseki going to get out of beating up somebody that's negative 90? You know what I'm saying? And I'm not being funny. Anna's very small. You know what I'm saying? So, all of 100 pounds soaking wet, maybe 90 pounds, like 95. And I'm not being funny. She just looks like she's very, very small. So, you know, 115, no no more than that. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, what would Tesseki get out of that? Nothing, okay? And, whoa, Vicky, come on, y'all. <laughs> Who has time for that? Krishan didn't even touch her, and she took out a lawsuit on her. Can you imagine what she would have done with Tesseki? Who got time for that? So Tesseki, I feel like, made a major decision that uh, Krishan, we don't need to do all that. And Krishan was the one who was upset about that because she felt as though her sister should have looked out for her. So Krishan flips on her sister, goes to her friends, done, you know, piped them up and made it seem like whatever it was. And now Marsh and Jay is fighting or getting beat up by Tesseki. This is stupid. This is so stupid, all right? And then looking at the trailer, which I reacted to on my Patreon and I reacted to baddies, hit the link down in the pinned comment, is uh, it didn't seem like Krishan was budging, okay? It's giving me she still want to be mad. What are you mad about? If the jumping thing was a storyline, Tesseki, what are you mad about? At this point, what are y'all mad about? Okay? So that's where I'm at with that. With how reality TV go, anybody who know 
how reality TV go know that that's a fact. Like, there's storylines that's connected to stuff. So it's like, that's that, right? Mm -hmm. And then... Um, when underlying we, uh, issues. Oh, when we and you know what? Before I even... I'm glad you said underlying issues because then Krishan absolutely has an issue with um, Tesseki, allegedly. I can't say it's true or not because I wasn't there. Allegedly, you know what I'm saying? Uh, M-wording her. You know what I'm saying? So... That was already a problem. Okay? So, yeah. That's probably Krishan's issue. It shouldn't have been Marsha's or Jay's issue. Fight or whatever. Like, I go, I'm, I'm not really thinking that we finna really fight. That's why it's like, if you check my energy, like, I'm just not trying. She's serious as hell, but I'm just like, oh, she must just be acting like that you for the camera. You say your energy so I'm just so chilling. Like I'm, like, I'm like nonchalant for real. So, it's like, when we go up for the fight, you see she swing on me. I dodge it. I'm swinging on her. She back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. It's like that for a cool little minute. Then she finally connect and get a hit in. And then that's when I'm like, dude, I you're going to see the ant security guard be like, that's enough. Because the fight is really supposed to be over, like... I don't know. I just was kind of. I, I, I was in shock. But the dude with the dread, the dude with the braids, the big light skinned dude, he's like, he pushes Ant back. Like, this is all on camera. Like, you kind of get what I mean? So it's like, it's nothing to lie about. And it's like, I, well, actually, I had wow. three fights when it came down to Zeus Network. So the first one was with Baddies, um, Baddies West at that audition. Mm -hmm. But that was behind the stage before the things even went out. I was dragging a girl. I was already, I squabbled with the girl because she was really mad at me. I don't know what she, what she was trying to do. It's like they already, because Krishan did Batty South first. Mm -hmm. Then we did Batty West after that. That's when I was on the mix now because we back in California. So boom, I'm instantly there. I had a fight. Stunning girl even saw that. I didn't see that leak from the Sprinter, friend. That link from the Sprinter? Or a leak from the Sprinter? I didn't see that. Or oh, I don't remember. It. One or two. When I asked her, I'm beating a girl I asked. And then Krishan just jumped in it, like, and hit the girl bang, like, banged her um, real quick or whatever. <laughs> but, like, that was that. I had that fight with them. But that was, like, it wasn't, like, during. Ain't no way I would have fought Tesseki for some issues that her and Krishan having as sisters that she had nothing to do with, with them growing up. I would never fight your sister. Because ultimately, just like if somebody were to be like, can you fight my girlfriend? And we friends. Hell no. Girl, so y'all can be back together tomorrow? And then everybody be mad at me? Oh, hell no. That don't even make sense. <laughs> Makes zero sense. If you see you and your friend, you and your friend and your, they girlfriend fighting, you better get the f Uh-uh. I ain't got time for that. Nope. The production side. So it was like a squabble, like a regular street squabble. Like, you get what I'm talking about? And then I got witnesses. That's why I love a witness. But like, boom, that was that. Then the other fight with Cuzzo. But it's like, Cuzzo, she was she was kind of cool. I almost could give her her props because it's like, boom, I have... Marsh done gave Krishan too much loyalty. Be mad all you want. I don't care. That's how I feel. She gave her too much loyalty. Don't be so loyal to you, stupid. Her fighting her sister was a stupid move. Stupid. I had a squabble with her. She didn't really... She I hit her on the... Um, I hit her. When she was just sitting there talking, I didn't really, I don't, to me, I didn't feel like I snuck her. I feel like she should have known that it was going to be a problem for real. She should have been on toes. But whatever happened, what happened. Then we fought again. But then she came to my show and snuck me. I'm going to keep it real. She came to my show and snuck me. What? Yeah, she came all the way, took a flight to L.A. And I almost could have had some respect for her just as like on some street dealings type stuff. But then it was like, I chased you. Well, I didn't really chase you down. I was just leaving the scene. And then I saw her run into a liquor store. And I ran in a liquor store and I did the same thing to her. I punched her square up and knocked her ass down. And then it's like. I dragged her. Who? She did this to who? And then the security got into it, the people at the store and stuff like that. I got hit in the face by a security guard. And Deja, her boyfriend at the time, he tried to come in the store and attack too. So the, the store just was confused. So they started macing all of us. So <laughs> all of us end up getting and shit like that. But it's like, you tried, you could have had your one up, but it's like you f***ed up when I, when I caught back up with you and you was really running. And then I got you in so the store. So she did and all of that and she was whack as yeah, so it's so like she you didn't really keep it hard, 100. But you I, don't, like, I don't know. I feel like she was just mad and just wanted her look back for real. Bitch, yeah. No, I just feel like she was just upset and wanted her look back. Like, nobody wants to be embarrassed on TV. You kind of get what I mean? And I did embarrass her. But see, that's my head space. But don't embarrass who? Come for my me because I'm going to embarrass you again. That part, no, but it's like my head space was just like. Sorry. I just wasn't thinking like, like, I'm just thinking like, you talking shit about my friend. Like, I'm just going to pop you in the mouth because I know you're trying who you're trying to be funny towards. And I was that, but she felt like the fight wasn't valid. So it's like, even when Zeus, when Lamel and Daryl telling me what they telling me, it's like my headspace is like, oh, it's just finna. He like, it's going to be like the other one. Like, it's like my headspace not thinking like that. Like I already had a fight really on TV when it was production involved. They don't really let you fight. 
Um, they don't really, it's not really like that. You kind of get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So overall, my guard was just down. You kind of get what I mean? Yeah. Now, the impact of that is because, like, yeah, I'm from a hood. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Like, they don't like that, of course. Like, you kind of get what I mean? Like, because I grew up, the people I grew up with, they don't like that. I my have no idea. They don't like that. Um, stuff like that. Like, you kind of get what I'm saying? So it's like, that part is a factor. But I'm going to chop it over my sister so y'all can meet Princess or whatever. Um, <laughs> we're going to be back. Shout out, Princess. Princess. Yeah, right, so right. it's like, um. It's like stuff like that, but like other than that, it's kind of like it, it really wasn't a big deal to me. It's just like when people try to take scenarios and make them bigger. Like to me, they look lame. Like I don't have nothing to prove. Like we can fight again. I don't care. Like you kind of get what I mean. But I don't me know personally, I don't have anything what to prove. Like, like and the people no who sitting in these spaces, like everybody, like that's the word. Y'all invalid. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Um, what is it? Y'all qualified to have y'all own opinions and believe what y'all want to believe, right? But it's like the people that's involved with this, they know that it's just a hundred. Like, I don't care. Like, you kind of get what I mean? Like, I'm not really tripping like that. Like, you kind of get what I mean? So, still in all, I feel like I really didn't have much to prove. Like, I still don't feel like I have nothing to prove. It was kind of like, you kind of get what I'm saying? Like, if you didn't throw the footage off the sprinter, then if that was really what you was trying to prove, you would have let the world see that. Mm -hmm. Like, you get what I'm talking about? Like, um, if you really felt like, like, you kind of get what I mean? Like, you didn't really keep it a hundred. So, like, it's the same thing like with shorties. But I used that scenario only because that's what made me have a comfort zone when they were telling me. I, I'm a lost. What they was telling me on the sprinter. You kind of get what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so that was just that was just how nope. that went. You kind of get what I mean? So I just nope. fought somebody that was really mean. serious when my guard was down. So I didn't think it was really going to be like a real squabble on TV. And that's just really the truth. That's, yeah. that's my perspective. That was some crazy so, yeah, she got the best of me. And that's cool. I really don't care because, like I said, I don't feel like I have nothing to prove because I just feel like, to me, me personally, it's like I feel low-key set up to an extent. Mm -hmm. But it's like... I could uh, see that. But it's like... Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, like, what? Like, y'all all weird as hell. Like, you kind of get mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, what y'all on for? Like, that's what I think. Like, what y'all on for real? So it's just like, whatever, whatever. Um, But um that that didn't really that hasn't really impacted my life i'm sure people know it, but when they see me like people are cowards they don't they don't have the balls to be like oh duh, 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 duh. like how do you feel like nobody's gonna nobody does that like mm -hmm. you kind of get what i mean like that's the thing like but I, I i wish people did like i I really don't mind i'm i'm open like i invite all questions <clears throat> all very everything. open yeah so, so it's like true. my thing is just like because i have nothing to lie and i have nothing to defend like i always let the lord defend me really my role like and i've been around all right I was with her till I wasn't anymore. Okay. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, bro. <laughs> I'ma just say, never jump in your your friends' fights with their family or their spouse. I nothing's gonna come from that, but y'all gonna fall out at some point. If they call you scary, be that. Whatever. But at least I won't have to deal with y'all too. So, that's it. Let me know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.